Today we are going to see how to calculate the coefficient in a binomial expansion. Basic binomial expansions which we know are a plus b whole square which is a square plus 2 times ab plus b square. Then we have a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube and so on. So we know different types of binomial expansions basically what we use the, these expansions in many of the examples a plus b whole square a plus b whole cube. One thing we know basically is that if the exponent is 2 or the power is 2 we get terms one more than it means if we are having power is 2 we we'll get three terms here first term, second term, third term. If the power is 3, we get 4 terms 1, 2, 3, 4 and this particular thing is true only when the power is natural natural numbers 2, 3, 4, 5 and like this then we can guess that if power is 5 we get 6 terms in the expansion Now we will see how we calculate the terms of this particular expansion The terms is a square, a b b square or if you consider a cube, a square b, a b square b cube they follow a particular pa pattern in every expansion whatever you consider a binomial theorem binomial expansion sorry and that is if we are considering a plus b whole square as I have mentioned first only that uh, if the exponent is 2 we will be getting 3 terms in it. so what we do we write both the terms a b a b a b whatever first term and second term we have in if 2 power is there, we write it 3 times and power 2 is given to the first term a and 0th power is given to the second term. Similarly, if a is getting power 2, then we reduce it by 1, we get here 1. Again, we reduce it by 1, we get it 0. Here b is having power 0, we increase it by 1 and 1 more, we increase it after this, so we get 2 and this we know as a square, a b, b square. A square, a b, b square. Now the remaining part. Okay, if you see this also, a plus b whole cube, a plus b whole cube. We write four times. A b, a b, a b, and a. Power three is given to the first. Reduce it by one. Reduce it by one more. Reduce it by one more. So now b. If a is any power, highest power, we we'll give it zero. We increase it by one. We increase it by one. We increase it by 1, we get a cube, a square b, a b square and b. Now, this particular thing or this particular fashion is followed for each and every expansion. If you consider a plus b raised to 10 also or if you consider a plus b raised to 50 also. Now, the thing which is important are the coefficients. 1, 2, 1, this 1, 3, 3 and 1. One of the methods which we know generally is the Pascal style. That is 1, 1 we write here and again we carry this one here, 1 plus 1, 2, the addition is written in the middle, this one is written here, this one is carried again here, 1 plus 2, whatever is the addition we write it here, then 2 plus 1 is 3, then again we carry this one and we go down like this. Now this particular thing is known as Pascal's triangle and this particular row 1 to 1 is giving us the coefficients of a plus b whole square. Check out 1 to 1. 1, 2, 1. And this third row, oh sorry, fourth row is giving us the coefficients of a plus b whole cube. 1, 3, 3, and 1. 1, 3, 3, and 1. Now, we know both the things how to calculate a particular expansion. If it's a binomial expansion and power is natural, we can form the coefficients using Pascal's triangle. And the remaining thing apart from coefficient a square, a b, b square, we can calculate it in this fashion. Till some extent or till some power, it is very okay that we can use this particular thing. But when the power increases, means a plus b raised to 25, a plus b raised to 30, then it's not feasible for us to calculate using Pascal's square each and every term what we get. So for such type of thing, what we use is known as combinations. We will see what is a combination. Uh,
Now, combination. Here, in combination, the formula we consider is N C R, which is equals to N factorial upon R factorial into N minus R factorial, where N and R both are natural. Or an exceptional case is there for them that they can be zero, but they can't be negative, they can't be fractions. So N C R here n will be used as the order or we can say yeah order of the binomial expansion and r would be the position of coefficient position of coefficient means if we are considering a plus b both square we get a square plus 2 times a b plus b square this is the first term this is the second term and this is the third term but when we denote the coefficients they are little bit different this particular one means the coefficient is known as zero coefficient this is known as first coefficient and this one is known as second coefficient zero coefficient first coefficient and second coefficient now we see how we take help of this particular formula and we derive these coefficients because apart from coefficient a square a b and b square we know how to calculate it. for one to one the coefficients also we have in Pascal's final but in case when the exponent is more, we are using this particular formula and now we see how we use it n c r as I have written here n is the order of the power or the exponent what the binomial expansion is having here we consider it as 2 this would become n and so here we will write 2 in place of n c as it is r r is the position of the coefficient whatever coefficient we can calculate individual coefficients here so if you want to calculate the zero coefficient, that is one transform would be so in place of r we write zero. So it would become two factorial upon zero factorial upon two minus zero factorial and this will give us one. Now we want to calculate the first coefficient. This was the zero coefficient means we get we got one. Now we want to calculate the first coefficient that is two c one and here we write two factorial upon 1 factorial into 2 minus 1 factorial and calculating this we get 2 and the last is 2 c2 means we need to calculate the second coefficient and this would be 2 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 minus 2 factorial which will give us 1 1 2 1 here the exponent was 2 so they have used their 2 if it is a plus b raised to 7 just n would be replaced by 7 and whatever coefficient we need to calculate 0, 1st, 2nd, 3rd we can calculate if uh, someone says we need to calculate the 5th coefficient in a plus b raised to 7 5th coefficient so here we need to just check out that if we need to calculate the 5th coefficient we use 7c4 because we are starting from a place back we are considering 0 coefficient first, second and so when we calculate 7c4 we get the fifth coefficient of this particular expansion so this is it we can calculate any of the coefficient of any natural power of binomial expansion thank you